Today, let's learn about the vintage Star Wars Imperial Attack Base made in 1981 by Kenner. I'll go over all the parts that came with it, how to care for it, how to build it, and the features of this classic 80s toy. Let's go! Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time and you like vintage toys and getting in-depth info on the history of them, then please subscribe to this channel. So let's see what originally came inside this box. There's the box itself, the main cardboard insert, the Empire Strikes Back mini catalog, the original unused sticker sheet, the instruction sheet, landmine assembly pieces, laser cannon assembly pieces, command post latch covers, snowbank and snow bridge pieces, command post, and finally, the white molded plastic base. The front box art features a play scenario with the base, and the top and bottom shows close-ups of the main play features of the base, and the sides show a picture from the actual movie. So looking at the contents inside and knowing what it comes with already, the only items I'm missing is the cardboard inserts and the mini Kenner catalog. All of the parts are here, so let's give this a clean first. And I use a makeup brush to lightly dust. Then, I use canned air to loosen hard to reach dust. Then I separate out the parts that have stickers to the parts that don't. For the items that don't have stickers, I wash them using warm water with a drop of mild dish soap. Then scrub it with a soft bristle toothbrush. Then let this air dry for a day in an area with no direct or indirect sunlight. For the items with stickers, I use fragrance-free wipes that are water and alcohol based. And once clean, I set these aside to air dry as well. And looking at the instruction sheet, it's not very clear as to the parts that you're supposed to use and how to construct it. So if I was a kid back in 1981 trying to do this, I would have been kind of confused. But let's put this together the best we can. First, let's put the ice bridge together. There is an ice bridge lever labeled with an I and a lever cover. Place the lever down into the slot, then cover this with the lever cover and it should snap into place. Next, get the snow bridge pieces and place them together in the slots that fit the ice bridge together. Placing a figure on top when you hit the lever, you can see the battle damage in this feature. Super, super rad. If you're liking the content so far, to support my channel and make these videos possible, consider becoming a member right here on YouTube or even on Patreon for perks and early access to videos. Thanks to all my supporters. Without you, this channel would not exist. Let's see how the landmine feature works. By placing a figure on the landmine area, you can hit the lever that knocks the figure over. Now for the command post and the snow wall. Slide the wall into position using the grooves in the base. Then slide the command post into position in back of the snow wall. Place the hatches on top of the command post. By hitting the lever, it makes the entire wall and command post explode. And finally, the laser cannon. Place the laser cannon turret into the hole designated for it. The cannon swivels and makes a clicking noise to simulate laser fire. And here it is, all set up, and the Imperial forces have infiltrated Hoth and have chased away the poor, poor rebellion. And if you're enjoying the content so far, please hit the like button. That does support the channel. And also, please consider subscribing. And please visit the PadawanCollector.com where you can see blogs, bonus material, and you can visit the Collector Depot for accessories that you may need for your collection. I think this is a great toy from Kenner and offers a lot of cool play features for kids. I can see some of these items getting lost fairly quickly and I can see how a lot of these play sets in the wild don't come complete, but you rarely see anything on this playset ever being broken. And I think that just tells us how durable the toy engineers at Kenner made these to last a long time. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. That does support the channel. And if you want to see more Star Wars and collecting content from me, then please consider subscribing. And also, hit that notification bell so you know when videos go live. I post videos every Sunday with bonus content throughout the week. And as always, my friends, thank you, and I will see you next time.